I have in front of me here is called Side Effects. You might have seen it on Kickstarter, but why I have brought it to the table here today is less about a thought I had about it and more about just showing you good game design because this is good game design. Now I want to kind of get into how the game plays so that you can see the good game design for yourself, but the game is based on you and a group of friends having these mental illnesses that you must deal with by medicating them. So you have mental illnesses of madness, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, tremors, and anorexia, impotence, and gambling addiction, and they are treated by the, the same colored drugs that you also have in your hand. Very simple mechanic of draw to, play to, and the first person to treat all of their afflictions simply wins the game. Now there's another card here called therapy that can immediately remove the affliction from your tableau it could come back, but that is a quick way to cure one mental illness that you have, and it is the only way to cure anorexia. Also note that Tremors is unaffected by therapy. That simple little mechanic alone is really good game design, but the rest of this, it's about the side effects, which is why it's called side effects. When I treat anorexia with lorazepam, it opens me up to suicidal thoughts, depression, and madness. Now, if I don't have suicidal thoughts, depression, or madness on my tableau, another player can play it on me, adding to the list of mental illnesses that I must medicate or therapy out before I can win the game. And you can't give a mental illness to someone who already has that same mental illness. So if I already have madness and depression, you can only give me suicidal thoughts. If I had all four, because you do start the game with four of them, you wouldn't be able to give me any extra mental illnesses. That little bit alone shows how good of an idea this was out of the gate, and it also starts to bring into the idea that once you have a full tableau of all of the problems, you can't get any more. We recently did play a game that was well past the 30 minute play time that they recommend on the box right here. The, the game itself went for a solid, I wanna say 45 minutes, maybe even an hour because we just kept constantly playing all these different afflictions on each other. We couldn't get good card draws. So what happened was we all ended up with full tableaus. And so at, at a certain point, all the other bad things that we could play on another person became worthless to us because everyone had full tap lows. So the game still ramped up and wound down to its inevitable conclusion of somebody getting the right cards, being able to steal cards from other players to get what they needed, medicate whatever disease they had until everybody was kind of sitting at just two remaining, which is kind of where you want to be because like I said, you draw two, play two. If you've got two remaining, all you need is to draw those two you need or already have one in your hand potentially, play them and win. Boom. And the game is just solid on its design. Secondly, you have to take a look at the art. We're gonna get some close-in shots for art because this is a beautiful game and I cannot recommend it enough. I have almost no problems with this game whatsoever as a smaller appetizer style game. And to me, this is just one of the best games to show off good game design that I've seen in a very long time. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, make sure you hit the notification icon down at the bottom. Get the bell icon if you're on YouTube. Like and share if you're on Facebook. Hit the your screen and follow us on Instagram if you're on IGTV. Uh, you know, all that stuff.